Hey, what's up, guys? Brock here. If you like my content, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell, players. Hey, what's up, folks? Welcome to This Week in Customs. I am Brock and I am excited. I have a, quite the program for you. But first, I want to thank you, my viewers, for the great success that last week's episode had. Last I look, it already has nearly 18,000 views. Thank you so much for spreading the word. And uh, by the way, it was also the first time that we did a poll and nearly 400 votes in. Congratulations to Board Dad Customs. What an amazing Iron Punisher, War Machine Punisher, whatever you want to call this thing. It's beautiful. It's inspired many like me to do a custom and I think that's what it does. Thank you again for all the support. Thank you to the artist whose work I'm using to create this content and they never disappoint. With that being said, let's get going into this week's episode because I got quite a bit of customs to show you. Let's begin with this amazing paint job by Let Custom Toys. I'm familiar with his work because when I first started collecting, uh, I was into Transformers and oh my goodness, the cell shading on this thing is amazing. This is not drawn on paper, right? This is an actual 3D physical toy that he's painted this on and it's just mind-blowing his painting ability is so amazing i want to let you soak this thing in because every time i look at his work i am in awe now obviously this is airbrushed in and he has perfected the cell shading art if you're not familiar with that they released a transformer video game a little while ago i think it's called devastation or something to that point but look at that guys that's a real figure that is not a paper drawn thing. Oh my gosh, just amazing work. Now moving on to Chris Serta, Masterpiece Customs. He has uh, taken what a lot of you have been trying to do and other customizers have also done. I think I saw Harker Customs do this as well. He's done an amalgamation of the new beast with some of the toy biz parts and I think it works. I think it looks good. If that's something that you're interested in doing because some of you didn't like the head that came with the beast, there you go, you have a sample where to go from. Any Game of Thrones fans? I, I sure am. Here's the Hound. This is an amazing custom. You're gonna see what he was able to do. By the way, that's a Lord of the Rings horse. They made the best horses, man. Toy biz at its best. Now, check out what he's done with this figure. He has given uh, Sandor Clegane here, the Hound. He's giving him, uh, I forget what he called, rooted hair, and he's resculpted uh, a lot of the things from the shoulders to the head, he's added wrist articulation and he's converted the, the Lord of the Ring horse to fit into this uh, medium. There's the original figure. There's the realistic figure that he has customized. It is impressive. Moving on. Oh, right. Check out, take a look at Lunaden's very cool looking Doc Ock. This is going to be a concept piece. I can see he's used some toy biz parts there and I think it works, man. I'm not sure what was he going for here as far as inspiration. All I know is when I look at a custom, I can see that I can appreciate the work that's gone into it and I definitely dig that one. All right, my favorite superhero. I'm about to go watch Endgame in a couple hours here. So I'm filming this uh, earlier than I typically would have. And I just love Captain America figures. Blade Navarro, uh, Grit Figure Art, is a very good customizer. He's got different looking heads here. Uh, I'm not sure if that's an original Captain America body or if he sculpted that. I, I, I can't see it. You know I'm not very good at that. I'm sure that you guys will let me know in the comments. But I just love it. It looks so realistic. This would be an MCU cap that I'd be happy with to put into my collection. All right, Christina Kona, known for the female figures. She has definitely perfected uh, the art of the female figures, especially the makeup. Uh, I don't know if I could do makeup like that. Uh, maybe I'd have to uh, uh, bring in one of my daughters to help me out. But yeah, she just does fantastic work. We've seen that, that candied looking uh, paint before that looks really great. I'm wondering if it's the Tamiya Clear over uh, silver or chrome to get that effect, or if she's mixing the paint if I had to guess, I think it's probably going to be clear blue over uh, the the chrome. All right, here we go. 
Josh, he is, uh, I think it's Double Thwip Customs uh, is his uh, customizing name. He does very clean work with airbrush. I believe this is airbrush. If this is hand painted, uh, it'd be crazy because it's so smooth. He does very good work. Go check his page out. Got Malik is a new customizer that I featured a couple of his previous customs. This Lobo custom is pretty cool because this is like a cartoony version. He sculpted that face. It looks really good. Uh, I guess it could go with uh, what are those Batman animated, right? I think it would fit in with the Batman animated line. So if you're into that, uh, there you go. A very cool looking Lobo custom. Now I know this is on my page. I just reviewed this. Markai Lab Creations, and you really can't appreciate it here because the, uh, what do you call it? It's not 1080p, it's not 780p. I think there's like 360 that's coming through. I filmed it in 4K, so if you're interested in seeing this amazing custom, go to my channel. I just reviewed it, I put it out yesterday, and uh, I, I'll talk about it there. But as you can see, it's very impressive. It really, this video right here isn't doing it justice. Go check it out, it's amazing. All right, moving on to this custom storm, and we're gonna have a couple storms on this episode. This is really nicely done. Again, I'm focusing on letting you know what I'm seeing. I'm seeing airbrush here. And when you can uh, look at a figure and you can see that it's seamless paint, and uh, you can just see how, like if you see the blue, how it, it just perfectly blends into the white, that's truly accomplished with an airbrush. It's very difficult to do that by hand. So if you're wanting to get that result, you're gonna to have to get into airbrushing. And of course, this custom has many different uh, things going on. Uh, sculpted hair is just out of this world looking very good. All right, so here's a Mesco style custom by Harker Customs. This is the, what is it, Ascending Night? Is it, a, no, Night, Night Fall. Ascending Night <laughs> shows my knowledge there. I know, I know, you guys are gonna kill me in the comments. But anyways, Nightfall, Asriel, Mesco style. I've seen this style custom before. It's an amalgamation of a DC figure and then a Mesco figure, and it looks pretty darn cool. All right, when I looked at this, I'm going, man, there are so many uses for the Hulkbuster bodies. That the Marvel Select Hulkbuster last week, we saw uh, Bordad's uh, custom. Now this week we're seeing the build a figure and check this out, dude. If you're a Star Wars fan, are you t how you would, could you not want something like this in your collection? Like I've really in the past because I've seen something like this done before. Uh, I thought about getting the Hulk Buster and doing this too because I love Star Wars. Man, this looks so cool. Obviously, here's here's where you can see the it's gritty, right? It's gritty. So he's definitely doing a lot of. Um, uh, painting by hand here as opposed to the previous custom where we saw used airbrush and that's where depending on what result you want you may want to airbrush a little bit you may want to um, do it by hand or do a combination of both this is a super cool looking custom all right here is another iron punisher or what are we calling this a war machine punisher uh, a punisher war machine and uh, Tosh Customs I've featured before. Really nice looking. He may have used like an Iron Man, probably like an Iron Man body. Uh, to be able to do this, if you're wanting to do something like that, you're gonna have to definitely develop the painting skills of the skull. The skull doesn't seem that it's that difficult to uh, paint, but uh, it really is because if you want him looking menacing, if you want it looking good on that figure, you're gonna have to practice ahead of time. I'm already starting to practice for a future custom. All right, here we go. Now we have the very cool looking Grim Knight. This is definitely a Mesco style Grim Knight geared up to the hilt. Now this is a character that's come out in the recent comics. He's a Batman from a different um, Earth. Uh, he's buddies with, I, I don't know, buddies is the right term, with a Batman who laughs and you've seen those customs uh, coming out. Very geared up Batman. He is not opposed to using actual uh, guns and you know uh, high-powered weapons against his foes and uh, this is definitely a cool looking custom it works with that figure all right Tim's toys we're gonna feature a couple of his customs in, in this program again the, here you can see the airbrush very nice looking Polaris uh, definitely like the colors he's done a really good job of airbrushing this on 
Again, I'd be surprised. Well, some of this may be hand painted like right there. The highlights may have been done by hand. I could be wrong. Uh, it's just I'm taking a guess on the spot here. But a very, again, a just clear looking paints. I can appreciate that. Definitely like what they, he did with the hair and the highlights and the shadows. It just helps create depth to the uh, depth to the figure so that when you put it on your shelf, it's just not straight out of the factory bland. All right, here we go. This is going to be a DC character, Miss Martian, using some soft goods. Good concept using Marvel Legend parts to get this accomplished. And all right. Do you like the MCU? Because I think this is a, a very good looking MCU figure. I think that head is perfect. I don't even know. Is that the wasp head re-sculpted? Uh, I, I feel like it may be, but it's like the character jumped off the movie. This would be a custom uh, that I do have some MCU figures. It's not my favorite, but this would be a custom. If I were to, if this is something I would have produced, I would have been so proud to put it up on my display. Very good work by Tim's Toys, Negasonic, Megasonic, whatever her name is. Teenager, blah, 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 right? All right, cool. Here is a Rob Liefeld creation. Obviously, Dead Hood Customs is homaging. Uh, I think this guy's from the Wildcats, Warblade from the Wildcats, right? Did you put Wildcats on here? I could be wrong, but uh, there you go. A lot of sculpting work gone into that figure, and it definitely looks like that character. I love that screaming head. Is that the bullseye? I love the bullseye head. It's my favorite. All right. Michael Jova Inc. Michael Jova Inc. Incorporated, right? Is that what we're going for here? He has used uh, this Hydra Captain America. He sculpted some uh, the arc reactor on the shield. I guess this is from a video game. I haven't played the video games. Actually, I haven't played oh, the video game for a long, long time. Customs of Champions. I know there's a, uh, a comic book that's something similar related i'm not sure if that's a character that's come in there or from there and they've created a video game but here he's added magnets to the shield i highly recommend if you make any type of character like that give yourself the option like he did put some magnets it's really easy to do very low level of customizing skill necessary all you need to do is go to amazon or ebay buy yourself some magnets and voila you're good to go for you Thundercat fans, like my wife is, uh, I don't know if uh, she watches my stuff to support, but I don't know if she's going to get this deep into the episode <laughs> to appreciate this uh, Chitara custom. Very nicely done. Definitely dig the hair. I think the, the cheetah spots are dead on the money. Good use of this Marvel Legend body. It works perfectly. Are we ever going to get Thundercat figures from Hasbro? Do they own the, or is it, who has the license to the Thundercats? I don't even know. All right, uh, another masterpiece uh, custom from Chris Serta right here. This guy looks like he jumped straight out of the comics. Perfect looking. And all right, so this is Black Canary. And what I really appreciate about this custom is the, the stockings. Is that what it's called? The little fishnet things right there? Uh, those are not painted on. He's actually uh, put something there, and I think it looks good. Like, I saw that I'm going, you know... Uh, when I work on some DC Customs, I would love a Zatanna, and that would be like perfect thing to use. I'm gonna have to contact him and see what material it was that he used. Moving on to this Captain Cold from Kidri Customs. He's used some soft goods that he's made himself, and let's take a look at the concept art. Now, let's talk about this. So when you are starting a custom, for some of you new customizers, it's definitely good to look at concept art. There are people like Craig Warwick, who I've mentioned he's at the top of my uh, favorite customizers list. He will actually go and draw out and plan out his customs. I'm not that talented, so I don't do that, but I do look at concept art. And if you go back and you see me work on the old man bullseye custom that I'm working on from that old Hawkman, uh, Hawkeye series, I use concept art to help me work on this custom. That's what he's done here and it's looking pretty darn good. And talk about looking pretty darn good. I know for a fact right now, if Plastic Attic watches this video, he's gonna look at this custom and he's gonna be mind blown. All of you that are fans of the Black Panther, Wakanda, this custom is amazing. 
it is a perfect Wakanda storm. And if, man, if you're a fan, if you have a display, a Wakanda display, you need this storm in your collection. I think he did a fantastic job of sculpting the hair. I think, I think the body part may, may be from, is that the Build-A-Figure? I don't know what he's done. I think he's maybe even added sculpting to the legs there. I don't know because I don't have uh, those figures because I really don't collect the MCU. But this figure stands out so much. Look at the face. That's beautiful. The paint. He even made it look, okay, look. He made the, uh, you know, the hair difference right there from where it goes from the braids to the shaved part. It looks like it's been shaved on the figure. That is high level work right there this is not a new customizer this isn't his first custom this dude has been at it for a while now i i can only guess but wow this custom really wowed me when i saw it because especially the mcu stuff if it's mcu and it wows me i think uh it's a good litmus test for saying that man this custom's really uh spectacular another uh, uh friend of mine right here toy box custom un cubanito ahí de la florida he is a master at the Red Hood. Matter of fact, he makes those uh, Red Hood faces. He makes the weapons. If you're interested in gearing up or having a Red Hood made for you, contact him right on here on Instagram and uh, he can make a deal, player. He will make a deal looking pretty darn good. Here is a... Okay, so this is a costume that uh, of Sunfire that I wasn't familiar with. I, I'm not really familiar with the Sunfire character very much, except for the one right there that Marvel Legends put out. It looks like he's used a clear body. Whose body is that? It's really cool looking, and I like the effect that uh, it has. Here, you're taking a look at... Yeah, pose. What, what figure is that? You guys are going to know. Put it down in the comments, and uh, nice work on that custom. All right, check it out, I finished. This is, a, is it Power Girl? All right, so he used a perfect body for the Power Girl, uh, right? Um, this is probably a custom uh, due to the Bobos that I can't bring up in here, but uh, this is nicely done. Good use of the cape, soft goods, works perfect. And you can see where he's gone from the base figure to getting the final finish custom. It looks pretty darn good. All right, this is, this is a character I'm not familiar for, with. It's from um, a PS4 video game. I don't have the PS4, but I can definitely appreciate what he's done there. It would fit very well with like the God of War figures from NECA. It almost looks like NECA made, but with soft goods. Really nice work on the hair. I don't, since I don't know the character, but I do. I can recognize this is definitely a custom. This is not something that uh, a, a mass. This is not a, a mass-produced looking figure. Very nice, geared up with a lot of soft goods, and I like it. I hope you enjoyed it too, especially if you play that video game, which I don't know what it is. All right, here we go. Mark I Lab Creations. He is a like the. He's a kit bashing, crazy master right here. He's got some sort of amalgamation here: Hulk Buster and Hulk. It looks pretty awesome, and it's an impressive figure, just like, especially when he makes the larger figures, very impressive looking stuff. Okay, moving on to this grifter, and you're gonna see, th that's the old Toy Biz. Uh, I can't remember what it's from, but here's the custom. Okay, super clean paint, man. Looks good. That is definitely grifter jumping off the comic yeah wow super clean paint man i definitely definitely didn't go with a gritty look uh so it may have what well, it looks like it could have been done by hand he's got a, a an extra head he's using the punisher head it works really like, for the unmasked grifter i like it good work very exciting week of this week in customs so far all right so this one right here is nate gray i had to look him up i guess he's an alternate universe cable and He's created this armor that goes over it. I'm not familiar very much. I looked him up uh, just to become familiar with the character, but I guess he uses some form of armor. And I'm not sure if this armor is uh, like a, like a, a psychic, not a psychic. What, what is the Cable's power? You know what I'm talking about, right? Cable's power, he has 
psychic psych, psych, oh my gosh guys what is his power the power with his mind i don't know if he's using the power of his mind uh to form this suit of armor or of his actual armor itself there you can see all the different pieces very carefully made the fact that you can fit it over that figure as an accessory is awesome fantastic work here and he's giving credit to his beautiful wife and kids for the patience and support apparently he was taking a lot of the time to make that here's another cable this is just a, a uh, pretty much like a kit bash i recognize that chest piece I recognize those legs. I bought that figure at Walgreen. It was on sale years ago, and I, I've actually used parts of it like you're using. Good use, uh, good-looking cable, and uh, it's it's uh, something that you guys can do. Just put pieces together, and bam, you can get a nice-looking custom. All right, Varian Customs has been working on this for Doo Dog. Uh, <laughs> good job of make, of painting that figure. That figure is pretty impressive. Uh, I think Jesse Quintero made that, right? Big Head Studios. Yeah, really nice. And uh, you've definitely brought out the sculpt and the paint. Good work. I think uh, James is going to be pretty happy when he gets that figure back to his collection. Good work. All right. I like this one. Uh, I'm not familiar with the character because I don't watch Supernatural. But I, I like the use of parts here. I like the wings. You just tell me, like, that comes to you. In your collection it's gonna stand out you put it on your shelf there's just something about characters with wings right <sighs> yeah it's just a good mix of uh, realism with hyper realism with those those wings man that just looks great Lee Aller leech customs right here with this beautiful looking Thor I think he may have made I'm forgetting the name of that it's not uh, Majolner it's the the other one but uh, it's just nicely done. He he obviously has reworked that head. I don't know where it came from. The paint's off the hook. Does fantastic work. Anytime I look at his stuff, I'm impressed. Here is a concept uh, custom uh, Conan. And uh, he's using the Punisher head. I was like, going, who is that? Who is that? And when we finally got to this one, that's when I realized it was Punisher. This is my favorite one. Uh, this is the, my favorite looking one of the, the two heads. I think this thing right here looks awesome. Let's see what else you got. Yeah, I definitely pre prefer the helmeted look. I wonder if you, I, I can't remember if you put the helmeted on with this uh, fur cape right there, which would, uh, that just looks dope, man. Good accessories. I like it. Good use of that head. I've seen, I think it was Action Figure Toronto that used the, the Punisher head for his Magneto. Uh, another great looking sculpt and that one was by Mesco did a good job so this is uh, the next couple of uh, customs the works in progresses so I'm not sure if he used the uh, is it the essential Superman here and gave it a cloth cape uh, we're gonna I'm gonna keep my eyeball on him see how he finishes but I definitely like that head for Superman I don't recognize it. Uh, I don't have too many DC figures. So you uh, folks that look or collect DC figures, you may already know uh, where he got that from. But I'll keep my eyeball on that. Okay, Captain Snake, really uh, very awesome looking custom, uh, uh, custom that he's done. And I think what's impressive about this is the lines. Those highlights uh, that look like they just came from the comics. He's not finished with his custom yet. And man, it looks impressive. It's looking, it's like the video gamey looking paint app that looks good on some figures if it's pulled off well and he's pulled it off well. That uh, helmet that he's created, what, uh, it's a Reed Richards, I know, but what's his name? Um, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting his name. I uh, The Maker, there it is, thank you. The Maker, it really looks like it just jumped from the comic. Great job on that head. That's fantastic work. If you guys can't recognize that, I mean, that helmet, dude, uh, that's that's good work. Very high level of sculpting to be able to get that accomplished. This is going to be Face Customs. He's still working on this, uh, but wow, just fantastic. Again, I, th I think if I said fantastic, we, you guys could play a drinking game by the... <laughs> <laughs> by my use of words on this show because I keep on saying I'm just amazed by all the talent that's on here and appreciative. Here's the sculpt. 
that actually we get with Hasbro Legends. And Action Figure Toronto is bringing it out right here. Look at the eyeball that he did. That is just fair. It almost looks like the Lord of the Ring uh, Sauron eye, doesn't it? Yeah. And the highlighting, the sculpt is there, guys. Look what he's did. He's made the teeth look realistic, the mouth look, the paint. The paint apps just bring out the amazing sculpting work that Hasbro does. And they don't get enough credit for that. Uh, May Shelf uh, or or Sculptor Shelf, I forget which one is the one that he, the Marvel, his Marvel uh, or his Hasbro brand, but he does fantastic work. I'm not sure if he's the one that did this, but it, there are other artists that are talented that work for Hasbro that put this out. And then when guys like Action Figure Toronto get a hold of the uh, the product and paint it, you can truly appreciate all the detail that's gone into it. Here's an, a repaint, another example of what Hasbro. Uh, sculpting does the left is the original the right is the repaint fantastic work from golden hand as always moving on to ca another captain snick work he's working on this cosmic ghost rider it is going to be epic when it's done you can already see the parts uh, it's just man they do such a good job of putting characters together from other parts that uh, sometimes just leaves my jaw just wide open oh my gosh okay so for those of you that are x-men fan you will recognize this is going to be a nimrod perfect use you can already see the sculpting is forming the nimrod face i will definitely be keeping an eye on that custom because that's going to be amazing when it's done lunaden's another master kit basher he is cooking up something right here that i'm sure is going to be awesome he's using a hulkbuster part I'm not, I can't, uh, is, I don't know what that other figure is. It looks like it's a Toy Biz figure, a larger Toy Biz figure. I'm, I, I don't know what it is, but it's going to, this samurai thing that he's doing. It's a silver samurai, I think, that he's working on that is going to be probably pretty darn amazing. Very good kit bash right here for Strong Guy. Definitely like the head. That, that head is already looking amazing. Good use of body parts, you know, bigger upper body, thinner lower body, known for Strong Guy. Moving on to some products that are going to be available soon. Harker Customs with that coat for uh, Gambit. It's going to be posable. Everything about that is going to be posable. The, the actual main body of the coat and then the belt. Eh, man, come on. Come on, players. Come on, players. It's going to look so good. All right. Moving on to another can of bean effects. Ah, oh, man, perfect. If you have this gambit, if you have any gambit, you're going to want this effect. That effect is amazing. I contacted him and asked him if he can make those available in clear. He may be making those available in clear because that effect could work for a bullseye. If you have bullseye and you like the bullseye uh, character like I do, I'm making one. I want this effect for my collection for my custom all right guys that is the end of this week in customs i will again put the poll up i'm going to pick three to five figures it's going to be i know it's subjective please don't get mad at me and please do, if you're the customizer please i love all your work i featured it uh no no uh boo-boo faces let's ha keep having fun last week we almost had 400 votes uh and board dad won i wonder who it's going to be this week Please head on over to my community tab to put in your vote for which was your favorite custom in this episode of This Week in Custom. This is Brock, and I am out of here, players. Thanks for watching. Hanging out. Peace. Toys, toys.